the story of the three little pigs? Of course you do. Two little pigs cut corners building their houses, giving them more time to play. Then the big bad wolf came along and their houses were destroyed. You know, as I remember the story, the unfortunate pigs ran to the next pig's house for refuge. In the original story, the wolf ate the pigs. Kind of gruesome, don't you think? Not that I have anything against eating pigs. I do a competition barbecue, and last year our team scored highest in pork in the backyard division. But I'm aware, many people don't. The moral is, thoughtful and careful planning pays off and helps to protect us from harm. One pig took their time and built a high-performance home. So, how well has our industry heeded this 150-year-old lesson? In 2014, Architect Magazine reported the high-performance home market accounted for 23% of U.S. housing. In 2020, an NAHB survey stated that 33% of its builders reported building 50% eh, or more of their homes using high-performance building techniques. Also in 2020, a Newswire article says it's closer to 29% and admits the hurdle is higher construction costs. In today's terms, the big bad wolf we're battling is high utility bills, poor health, uneven comfort, excessive noise, moisture problems, and poor resistance to prevailing disaster risks. And our clients want to cut corners and have more time and money to play. To be honest, so do I. It's much easier to throw a standard construction detail on the plans and move on to the next project. But what if I knew the process better? Plus, if we don't design homes protected from the big bad wolf, the building code will do it for us. The seismic energy, flood, and wind requirements are increasing incrementally. But what if there was a way to design high-performance homes that didn't cost more to build? You'd want to know how, wouldn't you? If it were possible, your clients would want to know too, right? Our conference committee has put together a dream team of presenters on this topic. They are all speaking later this week at the AIBD Winter Conference, which you can attend in person in Houston, Texas, online, or watch the replays at night and through the weekend. Dr. Joshua Niefel is an economist at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. He leads the Metrics and Tools for Sustainable Buildings project. From that, free software tools for calculating the sustainability performance of individual building materials and whole buildings exist. Fernando Pages Ruiz has literally written the book on building affordable. Both of them are speaking Thursday afternoon. We'll be touring a MyTech facility Friday morning, and if you're in Houston, you can attend in person. We'll learn how these highly sustainable yet affordable products are manufactured. Then Friday afternoon, Sam Rashkin, a building industry luminary, influencer, and architect will help you begin your critical journey to industry-leading user experiences at lower cost. Yes, you're busy. We all are. But being too busy to train is like being too hungry to eat. Stop the big bad wolf. Stop the six things that negate your good work after the homeowner settles in. High utility bills, poor health, uneven comfort, excessive noise, moisture problems, and disaster risks. You can register to attend in person or virtually at aibd.org slash winter conference. Remember to go back to the email that led you here and check out everything else happening in AIBD. I hope to see you in Houston later this week, either in a seat or up on the big screen. Thanks and have a triumphant week.